An internal communications team has been tasked with conveying some crucial information about changes in working times and days to the rest of the organisation. Let's meet the team. Christian is the team leader. He's extremely task-oriented and gets easily frustrated by what he sees as his colleagues' shortcomings. You know, I don't get to choose who I work with. I mean, it's basically, you know, here, work with this, see what you can make out of it. You know, I don't even worry about that kind of thing. I just think, right, I've got a, I've got a job to do and, you know, I'm just going to work with whatever I'm given and uh, people are going to see that, you know, I've done the best possible job with the materials given, if you know what I mean. Mel is a junior member of the team. She has a young child. I know, he's just not well. I'm taking him to the doctor later on, actually, and I've got to leave early, which I don't think Christian's going to be very happy about, but... Bill is the oldest member of the team. He's gay, but has not come out at work. He feels that other people, especially Christian, the team leader, find it hard to relate to him. His relation to me is I'm, I'm the tortoise, and he sort of sees me as... Well, I don't mind saying he sees me as yesterday's man. Yasmin gets frustrated because she feels the team could achieve a lot more. She sometimes feels that as an Asian woman, her opinions aren't taken as seriously as they might be. You know, I wake up every morning, I'm fired up, I'm ready to go, and then we hit a block and it's frustra I'm just frustrated. It's not that I'm unhappy. Jez is a relatively junior member of the team. He gets on well with Christian and appears to share his attitudes and his views. It's a good team. Uh, they've all got their pros and cons. They've all got their strengths, their weaknesses. Um, I know where my ability lies. I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm not good at. Uh, I think we've got a good leader in Christian. He gets the job done. We've got to come up with a strategy, a campaign, probably, um, to uh, sell the idea of this Saturday working initiative that we are privy to, but as yet the great unwashed uh, are not exactly privy to. I know they've been chatting about it. So that's why we're here, and so what I'm going to say is I've got my ideas, but I want to hear yours first. Shoot. OK. Have you got any ideas? Well, no, no, we'll start at the top. We'll start with Jez. It's all right, we'll start with Jez. Christian can be a bit, like, can talk down to, to, well, to me quite a bit. He's all right, I suppose. Uh, the way I look at it, yeah. you know, the company wants mm. us to work Saturdays. Right. We work Saturdays. Good. Well, Some well, people might... Who... Yeah, OK, that's a good point. I mean, do you, who has a problem with it, well, as a, in principle? I, I would have a problem with working on Saturdays because I have activities which I can only do at the weekend. Does anybody who didn't fight in the Boer War got any bloody problems with this idea? Well, listen, all I'm saying is very simple. We either empathise no, and do it is, subtly yeah, and, no, no, and no, nicely no. Okay, and well, this is, this is, Yeah, OK, or, right, OK. Sorry, right. can I finish? The principal thing he's doing is actually not listening to the contributions that people are coming up with. He's got, a, he's got a fairly good idea about what he wants to get out of this meeting and he's driving towards that objective. He's not really concerned about taking people along with him. Or... We go for the hard sales angle. There seems to be a huge contradiction there. Sorry, does anybody else see my point? He probably has a bias towards men. Um, and, he, and he almost certainly has a bias towards men who are like himself. So in the interactions he's having, he, he talks less frequently to the women. He looks at them less frequently. And he's more likely to cut them off. Uh, but the person who he sees as being mo most like him is Jez. And so Jez gets a lot more of his attention. Uh, Jez's ideas are picked up on, and Jez is the one that he would like to mould and to fashion into something like himself.